All right, everyone, Viper is low to 75 again. Back with another video podcast. And this video is about Angel Barrientes versus Trayvon Lawson. Finally, a, a fight that I can keep up with that just happened within the course of two to four days, and I can get the video out immediately. But this again, this will just be my full report of my thoughts during the fight. Now, once again, this is just... My thoughts and my opinions. I am not a professional commentator again. Just reminding you guys. But let's get started. So, I did not catch all the other pre-fights of the David Morrell Jr. versus Mike Gavronsky fight. And this is the only pre-fight I was able to see since I got out of work late. But at least I was able to catch this pre-fight instead of no pre-fights at all. But overall... I was very, very pleased with what I saw throughout the fight. This fight did entertain me and brought me some big surprises. Both men had great power and great speed. Like, I was very surprised and pleased with how their speed was. And I thought it was just a very interesting fight in general. Now, the fight lasted up until the fourth round, with six rounds of boxing scheduled. And everyone is saying how surprised and stunned they were when the fourth round hit. And me personally, I was very surprised with it as well because I definitely had Barrientes winning the first three rounds. Like, Barrientes definitely did throw some clean punches and definitely gave the speed and power that he needed to, to win the first three rounds. I definitely thought Barrientes was a mix between offensive and defensive. Like, he definitely threw some good punches in the mix of being able to defend himself. And now, I thought he landed between 65-70% to of the punches he threw. Again, these are just my numbers. If you have different numbers, go ahead and stick to your numbers and I will stick to mine. But, my numbers are... I thought he landed 65-70% to 70 of the punches he threw. He did have some good swings, especially during the first round. And I thought he missed only 30% of the punches thrown. But that number does not mean crap in this case. He landed enough punches in my scoring to take the first three rounds of this fight. Now... I also thought Barrientes was able to get some good protection in as well. I thought more of him protecting himself. I thought of more, I thought more of him protecting himself came more into the second round. It's late when I'm recording this video, so I'm very tired, but I'm still going to continue continue with this. But when Lawson was just about finished with his study on Barrientes and deciding to throw more punches in the mix, I thought Barrientes did a great job of pro protecting himself. I thought he started to get lazy with the protection when Lawson started to throw more punches. But I would have to say the climax of Barrientes protecting himself and his face and his body was during the second round. But what caught my eye most with Barrientes' defense was during the second round. At 1 minute and 54 seconds. He threw a left punch which is pretty powerful in my opinion. And Lawson was about to throw a punch back at him. And it looked like it was headed towards his face. But Barrientes was easily able to step back and avoid Lawson's left punch. Which didn't seem all that powerful. But the defense really kicked in when he was able to step back and avoid that punch. And right after that, Lawson threw a left punch, which Barrientes was easily able to duck and step away from. This is very, very good protection and defense from what I see. He was able to duck a punch to the face and step away into the opposite direction. That was a highlight of Barrientes' defense. That was one of the biggest improvements and things that I saw during the fight. I thought that was very great. He was able to get away 
with ease and with flying colors at that. That definitely did show what was coming at him and gave him the thought of, okay, I got to get away from this next punch. I was very impressed with that. Now going forward with the fight, Barrientes kept the good defense up and I thought he was starting to get a little bit lazy with his defense and allow Lawson to throw more punches in because of the laziness that he started to show. But he was still able to get some landed hooks onto Lawson and still show the speed rate he was able to show at the beginning of the fight. Now, I'm not going to rule that out now because speed is a big factor in boxing and speed plays a factor in the fights you're able to win and the skill you're able to show. And with Lawson, he started to show more improvements during the third round because he started to throw more punches to the body and a small increase of punches to the head and went into attack mode during the final two minutes of the fight. That was a good improvement improvement on Lawson's part, I believe, which I believe foreshadowed his attack on Barrientes, which led him to claim the victory at the end of the fight. Lawson showed more defense during those first two rounds and started to throw more hands once the third round approached, but the defense was still at the same level he wanted it to be, which is pretty healthy for him, and he even got to Barrientes he even got Barrientes to stick his head out of the ring during the last 40 seconds of the fight, which I thought was really funny. Barrientes stuck his head out of the ring, and once he stuck his head out, all I could picture in my head was, Here's Johnny! You know, from The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. That's exactly what I pictured in my head once he stuck his head out of the ring. I also thought, Wow, so Lawson's starting to get serious now. And during the last 35-30 seconds of the fight, he held on to Barrientes and actually tumbled to the ground while holding on to him, which is very interesting to me. I haven't seen that happen to a fighter yet in my almost 10 years of watching boxing. But... Probably because I've been so locked up to the Pacquiao fights and haven't seen that yet when he I've been yeah, Pacquiao fights and haven't seen that up yet. But when he tumbled to the ground, that's when I thought things were starting to get very interesting. And once the third round ended, Lawson had the look in his eye like he was definitely ready to attack Barrientes. Because he started to throw more even more punches when the last ten seconds of the third round happened. Then my predict predictions did come true in the fourth round. When Lawson started to definitely throw more punches and land more punches on Barrientes, and I thought Barrientes was not able to defend himself as clean as he could during the first two to three rounds of the fight. I definitely had Lawson winning the fourth round because of the full-on attack he gave Barrientes. I had that feeling Barrientes thought enough is enough. Oh wait, no. I had that feeling Lawson thought enough is enough and it's time to go on full attack mode once 2 minutes and 25 seconds hit. Like it seemed he was fed up with what happened during the first 3 rounds and just unleashed all these punches and jabs against Barrientes and held him on the ropes and once he was on the ropes... Lawson threw a hard punch to the face, which caused Barrientes to go down. And once I saw him go down, he would clearly was hurt. And it was only going to get worse if the fight was going to progress. Because if you don't stop it in a certain amount of time, things could turn out really bad for the opponent. And the referee thought things were already going to get worse for Barrientes if he let the fight continue. He asked if he was alright, and Barrientes did not give a clean response, and did not go to the referee all the way like he was supposed to, and I think because of that, he thought it was time to stop the fight, and once he waved it over, then Barrientes came out and said, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, 
but it clearly showed he wasn't good. He was already hurt, and more damage could be done if action hadn't been taken at that moment. His defense was already weak at the end of the fight, and he was not able to defend himself and protect himself from Lawson as great as he was the, during the first couple of rounds. When he said he was good, I thought to myself, nope, he's not good. He's clearly hurt, and even though he wants to continue, it's not safe for him to continue on to the fight. Because he was clearly in distress, and Lawson, on the other hand, he seemed perfectly fine to me. He didn't seem that he had too much damage on himself, which was pretty good. Because I thought Lawson would take some damage from the punches Barrientes was able to land. But it seemed that it wasn't enough for him to st sustain a huge amount of damage. But I felt that with that heavy punch that caused Barrientes to tumble down, that was the breaking point for him. That was enough power to take him out and give him some damage. And I thought it was very smart of the ref to stop the fight because of the lack of communication to the ref until after he waved the fight. If I was the referee in that fight, I would have stopped the fight as well because after seeing the attack that Lawson gave Barry at this, I would be afraid that Lawson would even try again and unleash that full-on fury towards him and make him sustain even more damage, which could be a dangerous sign. And even in the condition he's in, I feel like he could only make another 2-4 minutes of boxing, and then he would be finished. But overall, I'm just going to say, with my conclusions, I thought the fight was great. It made a great impression on me, and I thought the performance of both boxers were pretty impressive, especially from Lawson. I was not expecting that attack and that knockout from him. And I was expecting Barrientes to take the fight home. But boy, was I wrong on that. Barrientes did show some great speed and landed some pretty good punches. I just thought his defense started to get lazy during the third half of the round. Because if he had kept his guard up, and upped his speed more, and if he also kept his concentration up, and not lose his, his guard and concentration, he could have survived the ring with Dawson. Again, this is just what I believe, but I thought it was very good for the ref to stop the fight, and prevent any further damage to Barrientes. But again, overall, I thought it was a great fight, it was definitely a shocking fight, and I was definitely shocked with what I saw from the knockout with Larson. Lawson. Because with Lawson going slowly, just defending himself during the first round and the second round, I just thought, I thought he wasn't going to even stand a chance against Barrientes. Even though the undefeated challenge of him, I thought that was going to be the breaking point for Lawson. But that was wrong, and Lawson took home the fight with flying colors because of that knockout. It really helped him in that sort of case, and it definitely did give him another win and helped him stay undefeated. But that's all I have to say for this video of Angel Barrientes versus Trayvon Lawson. Until we see you all in the next video... Like, comment, subscribe to TV5 Entertainment, and please share these videos for a lot more content to be coming. Definitely subscribe for more content. Thank you all for watching. We will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.